Are you stupid or something? Stupid is a stupid does, sir. This could very well be the stupidest person on the face of the earth. You are a stupid, stupid man! You see? You see? Your stupid minds. Stupid, stupid! Everyone is stupid except me. Think of how stupid the average person is, and then realize half of them are stupider than that. Hey, stupid! All right, welcome back to our segment, Why They Were Stupid. It's brought to you by the folks at Madisonville Marine, Skeeter Bass Boats, Godfrey Aqua Patio Pontoons, Suncatcher Pontoons, Hurricane Deck Boats, all sorts of great G3 boats. Whatever you want, new or pre-owned, let the folks at Madisonville Marine take care of you. There is no better place to buy a boat, I promise you that. All right, I want to welcome in the uh, next member of today's panel. We have right down there Josh Ward. Josh also from WNML AM and FM. Josh, thanks for being here. Hey, John. All right, uh, what we do here is we simply talk about the bad decisions from the day before, whether that's the team that Tennessee played or Tennessee. And in some cases, if it was so egregious, some other game in the SEC. Why were they stupid yesterday, guys? Josh, I'll start with you. Did you see anything that stood out for Missouri? Yeah, I mean, I think we can bounce around on this one, quarterback play. Uh, Sean Robinson, I think, is a capable player, but what they were trying to do with him, um, I, I thought a stupid decision, third and nine. Let's, uh, let's see if we can run to the left against Tennessee's defense, which is going to be faster than us. Yeah. Uh, and after that, they realized, hey, that was a stupid thing to do, so let's go to <laughs> Connor Basilak. But uh, they started out stupid on offense for Missouri. I agree. I thought that the biggest stupid yesterday, well, and, and granted, Robinson got more of the game time against Alabama, so maybe, yeah. and maybe he looks better in practice. But from what I saw yesterday, they were stupid not to go with Basilak. I thought they started the wrong quarterback. Well, he was better in the second half against Alabama than Robinson was in the game. Another reason to have started him. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, much better player. Just you turn on the tape and you can go, you know, you should be able to see that within about three plays and go, who's our better guy? That guy. The other thing is, <laughs> why didn't you try to get more wide receivers on our linebackers. I mean, there are times that you'd see the guy and he'd be five steps behind Missouri's wide receiver, and you're just like, hey, why don't we do these easy throws? I didn't understand that, that they started getting into the long bombs and throwing. I thought that a lot of that game could have been designed around getting wide receivers on our linebackers, and they could have been, they could have got, had a lot of success going down the field that way. Which South Carolina did. We talked about the yeah. secondary being ready in that last segment. Yeah. The unsaid in that last segment is, are these linebackers going to be ready for Georgia and Alabama mm -hmm. to attack them in the past game? Uh, anything else you thought was stupid from either of these teams yesterday? So I'll give you a really nitpicky deal here. <laughs> and, and this one is, um, it, it's debatable. I don't think it's stupid, but you could maybe question it. So Tennessee's up by two touchdowns late. They got fourth down on about the one and a half, two yard line. If you kick a field goal, you got a three possession lead. If you don't make the quarterback sneak, it's still a two possession lead. You could argue you kicked the field goal so that you're up by three scores and not two. But I hate dinging them because they scored a touchdown. Right. No, that makes sense. And you, I was also sitting there thinking, does Samaglia, who may pop up in our three up, three down, need <laughs> an extra practice swing here? It was, it was so close, so it would basically be an, an extra point for him. Um, I thought, if you want to talk ifs and buts, fourth and one on that first drive on your own 35-yard line, if that doesn't work, oh, yeah. that would have been called stupid. <laughs> Instead, it sent a message. They continued to do the fourth and one thing up and down the field all day, so it's good and rah rah, and fans love it. Huh. If they don't get it and Missouri scores quick, that's that's oh, a stupid yeah. call. The, the that noise was, would have booed. <laughs> yeah. the, the the results are how that decision is smart or not smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's, that's it. And, of course, the quarterback sneak has become the strongest play of Tennessee's offense, which is quite a turn here in the last year. So <laughs> Dating back to last year's stupid play of the year. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> a, a turn in the, uh, the storyline of Tennessee football. Which, by the way, Jeremy Pruitt said that Garantano does not have the right to check off to that quarterback sneak. I'm, I'm guessing that was taken away that. last year. <laughs> <laughs> All right. uh, very good. I tell you what, when we come back, uh, we're going to have two more panelists join us. We're going to get their take on the game. Let me go ahead and give you a warning. Uh, in case ABC News cuts in here on us. We're still going to be going on Facebook Live. The show will still, we're going to keep doing it like we're live on TV. So the show will be on YouTube, on sportsource.tv this afternoon, as usual. It's going to be on Facebook Live, and we're not going anywhere. That's if ABC cuts in and covers us up for a few minutes here. Not that I'm angry about it. Come on back on the Sports Source if you can.